At the doctor from ongoing medical visit, Ebony is trying not to get too embarrassed as her woohoo wellness doctor visit goes on. We just want to know if y'all gonna hit that subscribe button or wait, cause... Do it! You scrolled on this video to do it! Right, they better hit that bell too. Oh, like that! Okay, you need to calm down. They already did it. Let's get into the video. Bring it down! What is up, you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, your bitch, your home skillet biscuit, Dimplicity. And today I'm back with another episode of Love and Basketball. So basically, you guys, it is still the same night. Nothing has changed. It's literally still the very same night. In the arms of the angel. It's literally still the same night though. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is 2 18 a.m. I'm gonna just have I'm gonna have everybody go ahead and try to, you know, go to bed and I'm gonna take care of their needs real quick. And tomorrow I'm gonna have Ebony and Dion go ahead and go get what they need to get done, which is their STD results. And I'm gonna also have them go house hunting to pick a house out there in LA, see where they wanna move to, and uh, that's probably pretty much that all we have set for this episode. But y'all know, things always go crazy in my game. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I don't really want her to cook. I'm just going to have her have a quick meal and we can have some Pringles. Uh -huh. Lauren needs to go to sleep. So Lauren, go ahead and go to sleep. And you guys, I think I'm also going to have Dion sleep on the couch. Because I feel like that's something that Ebony would definitely do. She'd be like, um, go to bed. <laughs> go to the couch. You're sleeping on the couch tonight. You was not for to sleep with me. Okay, you guys. So, the girls just woke up because they found this freaking um, <laughs> monster under their bed or whatever. Let me see. Okay. So, Lauren just made friends with the monster under the bed. She can't wait to find out more about it. Okay. Well, damn. Lauren, thanks. I'm gonna have y'all go ahead and go back to sleep. Oh, but Kyla's too scared to do it, so can she nap? Go nap. All right, so everybody is still. Wait, Dion is up and he's cooking. Why are you up and cooking, Dion? Oh, I forgot he did take a nap instead of um sleeping since he's on the couch. So I'm gonna have him go ahead and go back to. No, no, please don't put that on the stove. Wait a minute. Cause you finna burn down our house. Your mama almost caught on fire in the last game. You didn't learn your lesson? Let's go ahead and have a nap. <laughs> Quit playing with me. Wait, what? Nightmare. Kyla had a nightmare about being watched silently by a very creepy dog. Well, you know what? With that being said, Kyla, I guess it's time for you to go ahead and get your ass up. Because you got school in like an hour and a half anyway. So we're going to go ahead and take a caution shower. Better make this quick. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and take a caution shower. Because I've never seen that before. And after that, we're going to have her go downstairs. Maybe get some breakfast. The butler never did go to sleep. I'm going to have the butler go ahead and go to sleep. All right, so now that Kyla just got through getting all of that, her little shower, I'm going to have Kyla go ahead and come over here, get something to eat out of the refrigerator. Lauren got to get her butt up, too. So let me see. We're going to mm, have some chips. And Lauren, I'm going to have her have a Big Mac, a banana. Go. <laughs> there go your breakfast. Girl, get up. Get up. <laughs> and go eat. Wait, what's that? Okay, yeah, the banana. You should be in your other clothes since you just took a shower, Kyla. Let me see. Change outfit. Dresser. Change outfit. We're going to wear this one to school today. All right, so Ebony's sleep is completely filled up. How is Dion's? Dion's is halfway, y'all, but... <laughs> I want them to go ahead and get these uh. STD results because I want to see. Like, so, I'm going to have them go get tested if they can. Let me have Ebony go right here. 
And we need to change Lauren's outfit as well. Lauren is going to wear, what's she going to wear to school today? MC, dresser, change outfit. She can wear, oh girl, no. Well, this all you got? I'm going to have her wear this to school. We need to get Lauren some more clothes too. All right, so Dion is up now. He's talking about being hungry. We finna just cheat that real quick. Let me have Ebony go ahead and come over here. Wait, Ebony already come down here, y'all. Their relationship Gorg. is low as hell, which is completely understandable. But damn, like, oh, I've never seen it that low before. Wait, where the fuck did Dion go that fast? He was just here. Where is he? Yell at, yell at who? Oh, who he yelling at? Oh, this little bear? I don't know why, but okay. Uh, so, I'm going to have Ebony go ahead and try to see if they can go get their little STD results done. So, we're going to go to Relationship Wellness. And I'm going to click X to go get STD. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, she sat down for this. She said, listen, <laughs> I want us to go get tested. <laughs> I'm serious. Wait, did she ask him? Are they gonna go? Okay, so Kyla and Lauren need to go ahead and go to school. Are they going? Okay, so are they about to go get their tests? Yo, they going to get they going to get tested for WTDs and it's two hundred dollars. So we're gonna replace that, y'all. I'm nervous. What if he caught something? I don't think Lyric was dirty, but she, I hope not. And we're gonna just hire a nanny. Lord, we're going to see the results when they get back, y'all. So, it says, <clears throat> at the doctor from ongoing medical visit, Ebony is trying not to get too embarrassed as her woohoo wellness doctor visit goes on. Okay, okay. Anything else? Fire is out. Okay, thank goodness the fire is over. Could it have been any worse? And losing focus from not using mental skills. Dion feels a way about the cheating. He's always feeling sad and misunderstood. At the doctor, oh. feeling hurt, nap, break out, and he's a firefighter because he put the little um, fire out or whatever. Okay. But this is Ebony's job calling. Ebony is definitely going to work from home today because today we need... Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what? No thankton plankton. Wait, what? Tylee isn't enjoying her time, Cass. Bro, this is another one of those. This is another one. No, okay. Let me see. Okay, so Ebony is back for medical testing, and it turns out that she does not have any WTDs. Okay, so the WTDs are basically just the woohoo uh, transmitted diseases. So Dion also doesn't have any STDs, which is great, you guys. So what I want them to do today is go ahead and, you know, go house hunting. I wish it was an opportunity for, is it? um an opportunity for them to work from home if they're in the athletic career i don't know but what we're gonna do he had work in two days he's off today anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed even though they have a lot of animosity towards each other y'all they need to go house hunting to figure out where they're going to live at when they go to la so i'm gonna travel with them and i'm gonna show you guys their options i want you guys to tell me which ones y'all think is the best house so let's see let me dress her up we're gonna change her outfit i want ebony to wear something like this i want her to look professional today going house hunting so we're gonna wear that and i'm gonna have dion put on let me see what is she next <laughs> even though it was the viewer's fault dion never said he wanted to do that y'all y'all made him do that now look at them struggling to pick their relationship back up so change outfit what formal does he have really uh let's see oh he only got two things i'm gonna have him wear these all right they look okay together so we're gonna go ahead and travel and i will show you guys it's two houses it's only two houses that you guys can pick from because i didn't have that much lot space left <laughs> but um it's two houses for you guys to pick from so we're gonna go ahead and view the first house and yeah let's go all right you guys so we are here with ebony and dion and this is the first house all right i really really love this house it was created for someone i think emily's 100 baby challenge but it is such a nice house it's over here in la it is across the street from 
Ashley, y'all know the one that they had wanted to have a threesome with a while ago. And outside of the house, like next to it, there is a little park area that the kids could play on. You know, they could come out here if they want to, just chill, play together. It's a little water bucket over here for whenever they want to do the uh, hot balloon. Not hot but water balloons on a hot day you know like they got this little area over here where they can sit and grill and chill chat together so those are just some of the things that have me sold on this area now i don't know which house i want to pick yet i do like both house one which is this one and house two that i'm going to show you this one has a good amount of i feel like backyard area to raise a kid in you know we got two preteens we still do have like a little pool area over here the only thing that i feel like seems like an issue to me is um i don't know if there is enough outside area to like put a basketball goal or something for a d on to you know like just practice on so let's see can they even go in no they can't go in so what i'm gonna do is go in and i'm gonna show you guys what the house looks like all right all right you guys so you've already seen most of the outside very pretty you know we got like this little what is this like a fountain pond whatever in the front of the house so you go in all right so this is what the inside of the house is looking like this is a door that leads to a bathroom looks like area Ooh, very 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 spacious looks like i really like this what else we got okay this is an upstairs house multiple floors and I am definitely going to change these glass doors because I'm not feeling these at all. I hate them. I think this may be like a bedroom. And this may be like another bedroom. So, ooh, okay. And I think it's actually probably seven, seven bedrooms in this house, y'all. I don't even know. But I know when I seen it, I was like, okay, this house looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and go upstairs. Ooh, okay. Um, ooh, I feel like it's like no space up here at all. But we will definitely make it work if this is the house that we get. <clears throat> ooh, this bedroom looks bigger, like maybe it's a master. And this bedroom also has a door that leads over here. So I'm assuming it's a bathroom. Yeah, this is like a master bathroom. Over here we have a, another bedroom. Ooh. Ooh, and it's got its own bathroom as well. Okay, so, so far I think we counted four bedrooms, which is probably all we need because Kyla and Lauren are going to share a bedroom together. So, and I think, is that it? I think that's it. I could have sworn it was seven, but maybe, maybe that was another house. <laughs> So that's what this house looks like on the inside, y'all. Let me show you guys what the floor plans look like. So this is that one big bedroom that we just saw with the other bathroom attached to it. This one also has a bathroom attached to it as well. And let me go back down. Here's that other bathroom, the first bathroom that we saw, which is clearly going to be very small we got two more bedrooms over here the bedrooms are big sizes which i love i love a big bedroom size because i feel like it gives me more to decorate with y'all know what i mean and over here is just looks like I, i'm assuming this might be like the kitchen area and this might be like the looks like living room area i don't know or dining room area we'll have to figure it out but i do feel the only thing that i hate about this house y'all even though i think it is a beautiful house i really do love this house i feel like with this house they would be downsizing a lot but i feel like it also keeps them in budget it definitely keeps them in budget because they only have two hundred and fifty thousand. so that's all i'm gonna let them spend you know like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. that's their budget all right <laughs> so the house itself is fifty seven thousand dollars so it's like fifty seven three hundred and thirty dollars which isn't too bad so I think it's a nice house, but I do feel like they would be downsizing a lot 
You know what I mean? Like, a lot. They're coming from a house that has a whole basketball court on the third level so yeah but it is a nice house and plus they could always upgrade in the future right now they're just trying to move over here to la but we'll see we'll see i want to know what you guys think about the houses below so we're gonna go ahead and check out house number two and i will see you guys when we get there all right you guys so we are here at ebony and dion's second house which sit at the top of the la you know hills all right the los angeles hills right so we up here on the hills honey but i want to know what y'all think about the location of this house and i love the scenery i think it is a gorgeous area i'm not gonna lie this one right here might be my favorite house even though the other one does have like you know the little good nice neighborhood and everything but I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of this house because I haven't seen everything myself. It was a build that I found on YouTube. Now, I feel like something that I really do love about this house is the person that built it. They created this little whatever it is over here. And I feel like the kids can come up here, probably have this as a little playroom area if they, you know, wanted to. And we can also expand, you know more we can expand with the family and stuff like that probably have more kids and i don't know because i do want dion to be able to one day have a son but right now honey he don't deserve a son so i'm gonna show you guys what this house looks like on the inside as well but before i show y'all the inside i'm just gonna show you guys the floor plan so this is what it looks like from the top we do have a pool i like that both homes have a pool because I definitely want them to have a pool okay and it's a cute little patio area out here that can be decorated look all nice and stuff and we got another little sitting area up here so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick so this is the top level let me turn off the grid view oh this is nice y'all it's like this overlooks onto that and this overlooks onto that as well i have not been inside this house before now but y'all i am freaking in love with it all right i thought i liked the inside of the other house but i really like the inside of this house y'all so this like i said is the top level and this is the bottom level now i don't know let me think for a minute this is kind of confusing to me, but I feel like I would be able to figure it out. So let's go ahead and do a quick little walkthrough. You're the best out of all of them. I read every letter you sent. Even when you left town again. Been through hell and then back again. And you're never too serious. They think that you sleep too much, but they don't know you. Y'all, this house is freaking gorgeous, okay? I can't even lie. Like, I don't know which, like, I, I just don't know because the reason why I say that is because I feel like in my heart, I really would love for them to live at this house because I just love how it looks. I love how this house looks. The only thing that I feel kind of, you know, curious about is the neighborhood i feel like it's not really much to do around here you know what i mean like we do have a mall the um the diamond mall is like right here so that's i guess a big ass perk the mall is right here y'all compared to you know somewhere across the world way over i don't even see them other houses that i had in the neighborhood are they even oh girl mm -mm. Child, we way far away from that neighborhood. But, yeah, let me go back up here and show y'all what this level looks like. Y'all already see it. I'm not going to go through all of that. But, yeah, this is basically what this one looks like, you guys. And I'm going to let you guys choose below which house y'all think. Whichever one y'all feel like is the one they should move to is the house that we will be choosing for the premiere of Season 2. The premiere may come, you know pretty late because i will have to fully furnish and decorate the house lord jesus but yeah also you guys i want to let y'all know i did have to delete ebony's mother 
and her brother Ajay. I had to delete Kyla's crush to Mario, and I also had to delete Katie and Gretchen. So you guys probably will not be seeing them until season two when I, you know, put them back in the game. I had to delete them because when they were in my game, I was not able to access my build mode. I don't know why, but yeah, I did fix the error code or whatever, and now I'm able to access build mode. But sometimes you have to make some sacrifices, and that's just what it is. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and probably head back to the house. And I will see you guys there. Hey, you guys. I am back. I had to go do a few things in real life. So now we are back at the house. And it's been a day. So, like, I was playing for a little bit because I forgot to freaking record. And so, yeah. But I'm going to come back once they are fully awake. All right, y'all, so it's a few hours later, and I got Emily and the girl, Dion, just went off to work, and what I'm probably going to have her do since she is breaking out. Let me go ahead and cheat this acne, because I get tired of this acne. I do. I'm so sorry about it. I'm over it. We're going to take this acne off, <laughs> and I'm going to have her go ahead and get something to drink, because she was dehydrated. Then I'm going to have her take Emily and Lauren out, maybe to... Uh, Maybe to oh, a restaurant, sure. like I you said, to get something to eat. I don't know what restaurant I want to take them to, but we're going to see. So, I decided to take them here to the caveat, and I wanted to see if I could get them to all, you know, dress kind of the same. But, I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to go into create a sim real quick and see if I can get them something kind of similar to this color I know that Kyla already has something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and change her into her green dress let me see dress her change outfit right there okay so I'm probably gonna give Lauren a dress that looks just like this so they can like just be a little family all right, you guys so we back and i really didn't feel like looking for this same dress because it took like forever so i just put lauren on this and we're gonna go ahead and check in over here and request a take actually let me see because i want to make sure i can request a table that has enough seats so let me see where i can find a so you know what we probably just gonna sit right here at the back close to the back you know just in case one of these mods try to come up tripping and shooting and all that we won't get shot up put us in the back please thank you <laughs> so i'm gonna have um one of them well it looks like a lauren so being Dad, big and bold trying to go up there and request stuff so okay honey do your thing all right <laughs> Okay, and we got some live music over here. What's going on? Oh, wait, it's raining? Oh, my God. Not on our day out. Not on our day out. And it's not an inside. You know what? It's just a sign that... You know what, y'all? <laughs> this is embarrassing. We're just going to go ahead and end this episode right here, y'all, at this failed attempt at a restaurant date with my kid and my newly adopted kid what the hell what are they saying i don't even know but i will see you guys on the next episode and i can't wait to see what house you guys pick so please let me know in the comments below i know this episode was not as exciting as the others that's because you know it's getting towards the end of season one and i'm just really excited for season two i'm ready to age kyla and lauren up but i'm trying to wait so yeah not them getting naked over there honey <laughs> but yes you guys go ahead and make sure you leave a comment below letting me know which house you guys feel like we should you know what i'm gonna try to find a little poll online so it'll be easier for me to see i'm gonna put up a poll and i'm gonna put the link in the description please vote on the link that is in the description guys all right i love you guys so much i will see you guys in the next video or live stream whichever comes first with that being said deuces so before you even be like uh, i didn't like that video guess what i got way more videos on my channel that you could check out right now okay period